Good morning, Fornicators! And Snake says good morning, too! It's so nice to see all of you today. Happy Wednesday! Let's check out our morning meeting. All right. So today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. We are 156 Come days on. smarter. <laughs> That means we've been in school for 156 days together. Some of those have been in Prodeo and some of them have been on online learning, but we've still been working together to grow our brains and that's so awesome. Let's start our day with our morning chant. I wanna hear you loud and proud saying our chant gators. So you can either say it along with me or you can repeat after me like we do with the announcement, okay? I am somebody. Let me hear you. I was somebody when I came in. And I'll be a better somebody when I leave. I am powerful, I am strong. I deserve the education that I get here. I have things to do people to impress, and places to go. I am somebody. Great job, Gators. I love hearing your voices say our morning chant together. It's so awesome to remember that you are somebody, you are powerful, you are strong, and you're working every day to grow your brain and be even better somebody's every single day. Okay, let's read our morning message. Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Good morning, stellar students. I hope you are doing well this week. I miss you and I hope you are feeling proud of your hard work as we finish up end of year assessments. I am so proud of each one of you. Let's continue to grow our brains with a fun reading challenge. Love, Miss Murphy. Well, scholars, today we are finishing up our end of year assessments. I'm so proud of you for your hard work with these assessments so far. And I can't believe that it's already time to start wrapping them up um, and that we're starting to get ready for first grade. I know you guys are all gonna do such a fabulous job in first grade and I just, I'm gonna miss you a lot, but I'm so excited for you. All right, let's do our reading challenge, ready? So here's how this one works. It says, what is the new word? So there, we're gonna read this first word and then we're gonna replace a letter with a new letter and circle what the new word is, okay? So first let's check out the original word here. Get out your tapping fingers and tap it out with me, ready? D, I, P, dip. Okay, so the first word is dip. But now we're gonna change one letter. So I see we cross out the P and we put a G in. So now we're gonna tap out our new word, D-I-G. Ready? Get out your tapping fingers. D-I-G, dig. Do you see a picture that shows dig? Can you point to it? Nice job. Yep, this picture down here shows a uh, boy who is digging. Fabulous. Okay, let's go to our next one. So we're gonna tap out the initial word, and then we're gonna tap out the new word that we make by replacing one letter and circle the picture that shows that. So here's this word. Let's tap it out together, ready? Cub, cub. Okay, so our initial word is cub, like a bear cub. And then we're replacing the B with a T, and we're gonna make a brand new word. Are you ready? Cut, cut. Do you see a picture that shows cut? Point to it. You got it. This picture shows scissors that are cutting paper. All right, let's do one more, this is so fun. Okay, so we're gonna tap out our first word and then we're gonna replace a letter and see what our new secret word is. Ready? Okay, follow my mouse. B, et, bet. Bet, 
Okay, so now we're gonna cross out that T and replace it with a D. Okay, yep, it's tricky. I know B and D are easy to get confused, but B right here makes the B sound and D says D, D. Okay, ready? B, Ed, bed. Nice. Okay, so can you point to the picture that shows the word that we just stepped out? Bed. Right, is this picture right here. Fabulous job, scholars. This is kind of like what we practice in phonics when we're using our magnet board and we're switching out one letter each time to tap out a new word. All right, so here is our job for today. We've got our morning meeting, which you're already in. You're gonna do one Dreambox lesson, two Lexia lessons. You're gonna watch your phonics video and complete your phonics workbook. You're gonna watch your math video and complete your math problem set. And then today is Wiggle Wednesday. So we have a Just Dance video for you. It's super fun. It'd be a good brain break if you need a break during your learning, or you can do it to celebrate finishing your learning for the day with a little dance party. Remember that today is the last day of assessments, so there will not be office hours today, but I will be available if you need help with something or if you just wanna say hi or chat on a video chat, I'm still here, so I would love to meet with you. Just have someone in your family at home text me or call me and let me know and we can make a time to meet together because I would still love to see every single one of you, okay? Um, so after today, we're gonna to be starting parent-teacher conferences. If someone in your family hasn't yet signed up for a time for parent-teacher conferences, please remind them to do that um, or text me so that I can sign them up because I wanna be able to meet with every single family to talk about things that we can do to get you ready for first grade. All right, scholars, that is all I have for you today for morning meeting. I hope you have such a wonderful day with learning. Remember to finish strong, right? We are so close to the end of the year and I want you guys to go out strong. That means doing all your video lessons and doing your dream box and Lexia each day to meet your goals. I know that it's hard when the weather gets nice to really focus on our learning, but it's so worth it to get to grow our brains every day and be super ready for first grade when it comes. Okay, I'll see you later, scholars.